Tents are going up in Laredo and city officials are not happy about it. The tents will be used as temporary courtrooms for asylum hearings. The mayor has offered the Department of Homeland Security a city owned property instead of the tents. Jesse Degollado in Laredo with their concerns. Welcome to El Portal, adjacent to Bridge One here in downtown Laredo. It's where the Department of Homeland Security was offered a city facility instead of using the tents that are being erected nearby on a floodplain. The Rio Grande isn't far from where two large tents are going up quickly ahead of the first asylum hearings next month. And although the site is along a concrete embankment above the riverbank, the area was underwater during the 2010 flood brought on by Hurricane Alex. The Rio Grande was more than 42 feet above flood stage. When the mayor of Laredo showed DHS proof, they're saying that if a flood comes, they could dismantle and, and stop operations and then, um, I guess, uh, put it back again. Yet the mayor says DHS has revisited the city's facility with all the amenities DHS will need for asylum hearings. DHS has told him they'd get back to him in a couple of weeks. If you think the Laredo mayor is unhappy, wait till you hear what Congressman Henry Cuellar says at 6 about taxpayer dollars floating away. In Laredo, Jesse de Guillado, KSAT 12 News.